years there was never anything thrown away because they would use it for garments or uh, uh, different uh, uh, blankets and uh, uh, lining for coats. Fur here is a muskrat fur and a muskrat fur they uh, would make a beautiful ladies coats or and it would probably take a hundred of them to make a one man's coat because they would only use a strip off the back. D this is the one uh, type of fur that England uh, came over to get, which is a beaver. This one here is a very, just a baby beaver because there's some of them that uh, you stretch them out on a four foot square board, which is a uh, very, very uh, warm if you make a fur coat with them and you can also do a lot of different work on. This is uh, what we call the flesh side of the hide and uh, when they made a coat uh, they would uh, always want to put this on the inside of the coat because if you put it on the outside it would water would go, penetrate right through so they would uh, always make a coat when it was the hair side then the water would not penetrate yeah. this is the reason why the uh, uh, the british came to the northwest uh, to uh, canada is was for the beavers because they would be making the top hats with the beavers that they would bring back to england Okay, this uh, fur here is a from a rabbit which they would use for uh, food, which would be a meat rabbit. And uh, this one here is more like a jack rabbit, and they would use this furs to uh, line their moccasins or uh, uh, mucklocks and all these, uh, and inside of coats also. You see with uh, this one in particular, it's all made out of different animal hides and so even with the rabbit fur on here, they use different kind of animals to make these. This one probably just a deer or an elk and then the rabbit. This one is a little fancy because they do have the um, material also that was shipped from, your, from Europe. So they have their cotton but also this beadwork came from Europe as well and it was a very interesting thing to the Métis people. They found these beads and they could take their traditional moccasins or anything, their pouches, and decorate them with beads. Uh, the beadwork, there was never any beads uh, uh, work done uh, before the Métis came. They're the ones that uh, trained the natives to do uh, beadwork. So, but the one thing, uh, when the, uh, in the fur trades, even before the white man came, they used to trade uh, beads and different artifacts from the natives from the uh, uh, west coast or east coast or from the states. The, there was no money in those days, it was all artifacts that had, were traded. In this uh, area here, even for the Europeans, it was the new land and everything for them was very new and they were very excited to see what was over here. But it also worked the other way around. So with these beads being one of those new materials that the natives have never seen before, it is very exciting for them to also see what comes from the other side of the world. The beaver here, for the native people, they actually didn't really have much use for it. And so it may seem like that because they are trading millions of furs, it seems like they're being ripped off. But really they're getting this new metal material that they have never seen before for these beaver furs that they never used in the first place. So really what they're trading is their time. But when they're brought over to you and they're making these hats, these hats uh, might represent a different kind of class you're in or a different kind of job you have. Um, all, the, any, all the hats and everything was mainly made in Europe after being brought overseas and for their interest.